Welcome to Sunday School Lesson at a Glance, a ministry of the Sunday School Publishing Board, where we focus on teaching, engaging, application, and learning for teachers and students. I will be sharing highlights and key points from the Adult Faith Pathway Bible Study Sunday School book and the Townsend Press Sunday School Commentary based on the International Lesson Series. This week's lesson ends our first unit of the fall quarter of Sunday School Lessons. Get your Sunday School book, your Bible, notepad, pen, or device and follow along as we take a glimpse into this week's Sunday School Lesson. Let's get started with this wonderful lesson. The lesson title for this week, September the 27th, is Love Prevails, and this is the title in the adult book. The title in the Sunday School Commentary is God's Plan Revealed. Our background scripture is Genesis chapter 43 and chapter 45 verses 1 through 15. And the print passage is Genesis chapter 45 verses 1 through 8 and verses 10 through 15. Our key verse is, now do not be distressed and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. And that's Genesis chapter 45, verse 5, in the New International Version. Here are two questions to consider, reflect, and think on as we go through this week's lesson. Question number one. What emotions were his brothers most likely experiencing when they realized this was indeed Joseph? And question number two, how did Joseph respond to his brothers? Let's take a brief look at the lesson context. In last week's lesson, Jacob had sent his sons, with the exception of Benjamin, to Egypt to buy grain. His brothers found themselves bowing down before their brother Joseph. Joseph recognized them as being his brothers, but they did not recognize him. Joseph treated them harshly, accused them of being spies. He wanted to test them to find out if they had changed. He put all ten in prison. On the third day, Joseph executed his test. Joseph kept Simeon bound in prison as a guarantee that they would return with Benjamin. The brothers confessed their guilt to one another of what they had done to their brother Joseph. Joseph heard them and turned away and wept. The other brothers returned home to their father with grain and provisions. Joseph gave them provisions for their journey back home. As we move forward to this week's lesson, the time came for the brothers to return to Egypt. Jacob's son, Judah, reminded Jacob that he had to take his youngest brother, Benjamin, back with them. After finally convincing Jacob how serious the governor was about this stipulation, Jacob agreed to let his youngest son go back to Egypt with Judah and his older brothers. Judah personally guaranteed Benjamin's safety. As we recall, it was Judah who convinced his other brothers to sell Joseph as a slave. And we see this in Genesis chapter 37, verse 27. It was Judah along with his brothers who lied to their father about what happened to Joseph. And that's in verse 32. This was the Judah who begged the governor of Egypt to allow him to take the place of his youngest brother as a slave. And we see this in Genesis chapter 44, verse 33. In today's lesson, the governor of Egypt, Joseph, revealed his true identity to Judah and his other brothers. The lesson aims for this week are, as a result of experiencing this lesson, you should be able to do these things. Lesson aim number one, 
understand how Joseph viewed his past mistreatment at the hands of his brothers. Lesson aim number two, recognize how God might be at work in your difficult circumstances. And lesson aim number three, respond to mistreatment, not with vengeance, but with creative transforming initiatives. As we continue our glimpse into this week's lesson, I'm going to share two key points from each outline in the lesson text and expound some on each one. There are two outlines presented in the Adult Faith Pathway Sunday School book in this week's lesson. Outline number one is Love Reveals Itself. And that's Genesis chapter 45, verses 1 through 8. And the second outline is Love Prevails. And that's Genesis chapter 45, verses 10 through 15. Let's look at the first outline, Love Reveals. This lesson starts out with Joseph no longer able to control himself after listening to his brother. Judah pleaded for his brother Benjamin. With Judah making such a strong plea that Joseph allow him to take Benjamin's punishment, Joseph was overcome with emotion. He could no longer control his emotions. Judah was the brother who had stepped forward with the plan to sell Joseph, as we recall. In an act of redemptive love, unlike his actions 20 years earlier, Judah offers his life in the place of Benjamin's. Joseph had his attendants to leave the room and was left alone with his brothers. He began to weep, weep aloud. He cried so loud that he was heard throughout the palace. Joseph and his brothers stood face to face. Joseph revealed himself. He said, I am Joseph. Can you just imagine their emotions at this time? Perhaps stunned, speechless, fearful for their lives. Key point number one. Joseph said to his brothers and explained that it was not they but God who had sovereignly brought him to Egypt for the purpose of saving the lives of many people, including their families. As Joseph revealed himself to his brothers, he told them not to be distressed or angry. In essence, what Joseph was saying to his brothers, you meant it for evil against me, but God meant it for good. And we find this in Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. God used the evil actions of Joseph's brothers to preserve their lives. He further explained that it was God who had exalted him to the position in Egypt and gave him the wisdom and authority needed to accomplish this God-ordained task. God was in the plan. Key point number two. Joseph demonstrated God's love through his impassioned forgiveness of his brothers and his compassion for them and their father's welfare. Joseph showed love and not vengeance to his brothers. God used the evil actions of his brothers to fulfill his plan. He sent Joseph ahead to preserve their lives save Egypt and prepare the way for the beginning of the nation of Israel. God was working out his plan for what would become his chosen nation. The second outline, love prevails. Key point number one, Joseph instructed his brothers to return to Canaan and bring their father back to Egypt, which was part of God's plan. Joseph said that he would provide for them. He would take care of them during the remaining five years of the famine. Key point number two, Joseph enjoyed a tearful reunion with Benjamin 
and then with his other brothers. Joseph demonstrated brotherly love and forgiveness toward his brothers. It is evident that Joseph held no animosity toward his brothers, and this became clear in verses 14 and 15, where it says that he hugged, cried tears of joy, and kissed his brothers. After all of Joseph's tears, his brothers talked to him. In summary, God can use the evil that people do to themselves and others to bring about his redemptive purposes on earth. Joseph chose forgiveness over resentment. Think about your relationships with others this week. Family, employee, employers, church family, neighbors. Is there someone you have not forgiven or who has not forgiven you? Seek to allow God's love to prevail in your relationships with others this week by taking the first step toward reconciliation. Thank you for tuning in to Sunday School Lesson at a Glance. I hope this glimpse of this week's Sunday School Lesson is helpful to you as you prepare to teach and study God's Word. For additional information and resources, contact the Sunday School Publishing Board. Blessings to you until the next Sunday School lesson at a glance. We invite you to join us each week as we take a glimpse into the Sunday School lesson. Subscribe now.